Hello lovely kids. Welcome to Peas and Poppies. Do you like butterflies? Do you want to know all about monarch butterflies? So let's start the video. In this video, I will talk about monarch butterflies life cycle and the incredible features they have before turning into a butterfly. I have made another video about the adult monarch butterflies where I explained all about their amazing migration. So please watch that video as well. Butterflies have been living on planet earth from the time of dinosaurs. Just like how humans came from apes, butterflies have evolutionary ancestors too. Their ancestors are moths which are usually active at night. In a simple way, a group of moths who got tired of hiding from bats at night evolved into diurnal moths, nothing but butterflies. These newly evolved butterflies had less predators at daytime and more food options because the first flowering plants also started to come at that same time. They probably look different at that time but now we are able to see thousands of cool looking butterflies. In all of those, my most favorite butterflies are monarch butterflies. They are the most recognizable and well studied butterflies on the planet. So let's see what we can learn about them. When you think about a butterfly, what comes in your mind? I'm sure a lot of you say life cycle. The picture of circular arrows with all four stages written in it, right? So let's start with the story of butterfly life cycle. It all starts on a nice warm day. A single egg lay on the underside of a plant leaf. This egg is the first stage in the life cycle of a butterfly. In just a couple of days, the egg hatches and out comes the larva. And this is the second stage. Butterflies and moth's larva is called caterpillar. This caterpillar is tiny but very hungry. All it can see is the shell of the egg it came from. So it eats that egg shell but it's still hungry. The next thing this caterpillar can see and feel is the leaf it's crawling on. So slowly it starts to munch on that leaf. In every three to five days, it molds. That means shedding its old skin off and growing new skin back in its place to cover the big growing body. It happens five times. And at each stage, the caterpillar is called in star. So the fifth inch star is a big fat caterpillar with a pair of tentacles at each side of its body. At this stage, the caterpillar stops eating and latches to a safe surface for pupation. First, it sheds its skin for the last time, gets compact and looks pale green with some gold dots. This is the pupa, the third stage. Butterfly pupa is called chrysalis. This is not a cocoon. What is the difference between chrysalis and cocoon? Chrysalis is the living creature in pupa stage, whereas cocoon is the silk case spun by the living creature in pupa stage. Moths and other insects build cocoon for protection. Whereas butterfly's caterpillar changes itself into chrysalis. The chrysalis develops reproductive organs, wings and all the other things a butterfly needs to be a butterfly. 
this transformation is called a complete metamorphosis. In the final times of metamorphosis, the chrysalis turns transparent. Now the chrysalis splits open at the bottom and out comes a beautiful butterfly, which is the fourth stage and adult stage in the life cycle of a butterfly. Once the conditions become all good, it spreads its magnificent wings and flutter in the air. And there it goes again, searching for food. At this stage, it eats completely different type of food. That is, nectar from the wildflowers. So the four stages in butterfly life cycle are egg, larva aka caterpillar, pupa aka chrysalis and an adult butterfly. Monarchs have some amazing characteristics starting from their lifespan to the migration. In all that the caterpillar stage is the most impressive time. So let's see the details of monarch caterpillar stage. A typical adult monarch butterfly lifespan is 2 to 6 weeks. In this stage to achieve the continuity of their species, they reproduce. The female monarch butterfly lay eggs, a single egg at a time, only under the milkweed plant leaves. Because monarch caterpillars exclusively eat milkweed. And eating milkweed is not easy. Why? Let's see. Milkweed is a perennial, that means long living plant. It has some beautiful flowers. Just like animals, plants also have some defenses to protect themselves from the herbivores. Milkweed has some defenses too. These defenses become tasks for the monarch caterpillar. Let's see milkweed plant defenses and how monarch caterpillar face them. Defense number one. Milkweed plants have latex. Latex is a white milky liquid which you can easily find in many plants. When you break this plant skin, this latex oozes out. If latex exposed to air, it thickens. So, it gets impossible for a caterpillar, especially in its early stages, to eat this milkweed since the gummy fluid fills up its mouth. Defense number two. Milkweed leaves are very fuzzy with lots of hairy things. They are called trichomes. You can find these trichomes easily on a sunflower or a tomato plant. So these trichomes on milkweed come in the way when the caterpillar wants to take a bite of this leaf. Defense number three. Upon all these, milkweed has toxins called cardinolites which mainly affect the functioning of heart. So, how the monarch caterpillar eats this sticky, hairy and toxic milkweed leaves? First thing they do is shaving those trichomes. The early instar trim the surface of the leaf and then chew a small circle into the leaf to stop the flow of the latex and then eats the center of the ring which is safe. The older instar chew a notch into the leaf stem to drain out the latex in the leaf and eats the whole leaf happily. So the caterpillar seems like eating all the time, right? But now you know how hard it needs to work before taking that first bite. Doesn't these toxins affect them? Yes. Monarch caterpillars do suffer the effect of consuming those toxins. If they eat in a proper way, they can easily manage because monarch caterpillars have special adaptations so they are able to feed on these milkweed leaves. In fact, these toxins stay in their body even in adult butterfly stage, providing special defenses. They are both monarch caterpillars and butterflies get these bright orange color 
which give a fright to birds who wants to catch them. They taste really bad. So the predators who knows about these don't even think about considering them in their diet. Since the animals are under constant competition for food sources, having an ability to eat plants that are toxic to other animals provide a fantastic opportunity. So we can definitely say that monarch caterpillars are pretty awesome. That's not it. They are even more amazing after becoming adult butterflies. You can learn all about it in the following video about monarchs epic migration. I hope I gave you some new information about monarch butterflies. There is more to see in the next video. Thank you for listening. Happy learning.